Hey there, everybody. It's Pastor Jason. It's time for another daily devotional in an empty house. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. I'm still waiting on my stuff. Be praying for that. And we shall jump right into Psalm 71 today. Psalm 71. Let's pray and we'll get started. Father, help us to be able to praise your name. Help us to sing of your glory. Help us to tell of your righteousness and your righteousness alone. Lord, we thank you for your son's sacrifice on the cross for us. As Easter nears, may we be inviting people to come to know who you are. This is our time, Lord. Help us to be willing to spread your love to others. In your name, amen. All right, Psalm 71. Here we go. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of habitation to which I may continually come. You have given commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the grasp of the wrongdoer and the ruthless man. You, For you are my hope. O Lord God, you are my confidence from my youth. By you I have been sustained from my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have become a marvel to many, for you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails, for my enemies have spoken against me, and those who watch for my life consulted together, saying, God has forsaken him. Pursue and seize him, for there is no one to deliver. To deliver. O God, do not be far from me. O my God, hasten to my help. Let those who are adversaries of my soul be ashamed and consumed. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek to injure me. But as for me, I will hope continually, and I will praise you yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and of your salvation all day long. For I do not know the sum of them. I will come to, with the mighty deeds of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and I still declare your wondrous deeds. And even when I am old and gray, O God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to all who are to come. For your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you? You have shown me many troubles and distresses. You will revive me again. Excuse me. You who have shown me many troubles and distresses will revive me again and will bring me up again from the depths of the earth. May you increase my greatness and turn to comfort me. I will also praise you with the harp, even your truth, O my God. To you I will sing praises with the lyre. O Holy One of Israel, my lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you and my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue also will utter your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed, for they are humiliated who seek my hurt. Just a quick thought today on Psalm 71, and I'll let you discover where you can learn and grow from this psalm. I know it's not Friday. Usually I leave that for Friday, but we've got plenty to do around here, even though the house is empty. Let me encourage you to speak of his righteousness and his wondrous deeds all day long. Today, find some way to tell someone of what he's done in your life and how his righteousness is what makes you complete. And if you're watching this at night, think about who you're going to talk to tomorrow or pray that someone that the Lord brings someone in your path that you can tell about his righteousness, about Jesus Christ. I love verses 17 through 21. He's taught me from my youth and I will declare his wondrous deeds even when I am old and gray. I get a little gray on the top and I think to myself, this is the next stage of our lives. And I think, what, what does the Lord have for me? 
He still has a lot for me, and I want to be able to tell of his righteousness. I want to tell about how the great things that he's done with my life, because there is no one like him. And yeah, my life has seen troubles and distresses, but he revives me again and again and again. And I can have that hope that he will show me the same revival each and every time that he's going to bring me up out of the depths of the earth. So, how has the Lord been working in your life lately? And who can you go tell it to today? Or if you're watching this late at night, tomorrow. Make a plan. I hope chapter 71, Psalm 71, has been a blessing to you. Go on out and be a blessing to those around you. And I'll see you tomorrow with Psalm 72.